Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use Maximus in five minutes. Now this is a special interactive tutorial, so on the screen now you'll see eight different sections of the video, and if you want to go to each one of those sections you can click one through eight on your keyboard and it'll take you right there. Now I did this because I have a hard time staying focused on a tutorial that's longer than five minutes, plus I think it's really, really entertaining to watch somebody cram a whole bunch of information into five minutes while trying to talk super duper fast. So here we go. So what exactly is Maximus? Uh, Maximus is a uh, native compression plugin that comes with FL Studio. It's a multi-band compressor with uh, three different bands and a master compressor. Uh, so it's a really powerful tool and in my opinion it's the most powerful effects plugin that comes with FL Studio. Uh, now it's a bit special, uh, mostly because of this uh, graphic interface right here. So uh, not only can you uh, use this XY axis as a visual feedback, you can actually use this to control the compressor. And we can control our XY axis by adding points along this grid. So our X axis is our input level and our Y axis is our output level. Um, so that basically means if I have a diagonal line just like this up until 0, 0, which is the center, um, then the input and the output level are the same. If I add a point, I can create a threshold and then adjust the ratio by drawing the points. And I can even adjust the curve, which would be our knee here. And there's no limit to how many points you can add. I can even right click and uh, change the uh, shape of the point. So we have some controls along the side. On leaves our compressor on as normal. Comp off will turn off the compressor. Muted will mute the band that we have selected. Off will turn off the entire band so we can't see the display or hear it. Uh, solo will solo our band. And then we can adjust our stereo separation like this. Uh, let's say I make a curve. I can save it with this button right here. And then if I make a new curve, I can toggle back and forth between the two with my little save state toggle right there. And we can use that to compare two separate effects. So we have some gain controls down here. Uh, pre will adjust the volume before compression. Post will adjust the volume after compression. Then in our saturation section, uh, we can adjust between A and B sides of saturation. And then this ceiling here will adjust the simulated analog ceiling for our saturation. So if I lower the ceiling, as I lower the ceiling, we get more and more saturation. Over here in our compression control section, we have an attack and release knob, which if you don't know what those do, there's a link up in the top corner. Uh, release one and two have separate curves. Release one looks more like that, and release two looks more like that. Uh, now these curve selections can be adjusted right here. Our sustain will average the uh, signal level over time, so you can adjust that with this knob. And then peak and RMS are two different types of compression. Peak will leave the transients alone for a sharper sound, and uh, RMS will adjust the transients more for a thicker and smoother sound. So Maximus is a multiband compressor, which means that each section of the frequency spectrum can be compressed individually. Uh, when the incoming signal goes into Maximus, it gets split into the low, mid, and high bands. Each band has its own graph and its own set of controls, which can be adjusted individually. So I can adjust each curve however I like, and it won't affect the other. Uh, once all of these curves have been affected, they will go into the master channel, which also has its own set of controls. Um, you can adjust the pre, post gain, uh, envelope section, and the muting individually. There's also some band options along the side. If I click this band button here, I can see uh, the different bands are allocated for different frequencies. So uh, by default, it looks like this, but I can adjust the bands with these low and high knobs right here. Uh, now the roll off between bands is set to 24 decibels by default, but you can adjust that uh, right there. And there's also this low cut knob, which will give us a, a high pass filter in the low end. Uh, by default, it's set to 20 Hertz, but it can go all the way off or it can go all the way up to 80 Hertz. This is our display box, and it has a whole bunch of different options. Uh, this right here will turn on our main input peaks. Uh, this will turn off the peaks for our selected uh, band. This right here will also turn off the main output. Um, this is our analysis envelope. Up top is our compression curve, uh, and then this will show us the compression curve for each band in its own color. And then this right here is just some level information. We can adjust the speed like this. And if I click this button, it will show me an EQ analysis. So that's it. That's Maximus in five whole minutes, really four minutes and 30 seconds if you don't count this last part. Uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what I should explain in five minutes next. Uh, these videos do take a lot of work because, believe it or not, it's hard to talk this fast without making mistakes. Uh, I make a lot of mistakes. If you want to support me, you can uh, check out my new album, Completely Implicit. It's out now in the description. Thank you and have a great day.